Hey everyone, Paul I Sam, welcome to another Unbox Review. Today I've got a very spare of the moment review of something I saw yesterday. Had to buy it and it's arrived today. And it's this Hobby Design 24 scale Singer Porsche 911 DLS. So I saw this released on a site yesterday, bought it, it was £150. Eye-wateringly expensive. Um, just a beautiful car. Absolutely stunning looking car. It was this picture that sold it to me. And that's what I want to do. It's a colour. I've ordered the colour for it. And this is what I want to do. So a very expensive car. We've seen these kits before. Hobby Design are the same as Alpha. I think they're run by the same company. So they're very, very similar. I'm not going to go as in-depth on this one as I did with the P1 McLaren. But we'll have a look at all the important things in the kit. But I've had a quick look through and it does look absolutely amazing. It looks phenomenal. So let's go straight in review and we'll come back at the end and have a few thoughts. If you want, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell notifications, get notified of our latest videos, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and leave a comment. I do read and appreciate every comment you guys and girls leave behind. I may not reply to them all, but they are all appreciated. And there's a link in the description of the video that takes you to a big long list of all handy videos and a lot of the products I use in my videos. You now have the chance to support the video content creation by using Patreon or the PayPal me link in the description down below. All the videos will always remain free to watch. This is just your chance to help support the videos. Right then, so the Hobby Design Porsche 911 DLS Singer. Full multimedia kit, resin, photo etch, plastic, everything, the whole lot. I saw this, thought I've got to buy this. It looks absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice car. Really nice looking kit from Hobby Design. Obviously, I think Hobby Design um, own Alpha as well. There's something to do together. So the resin is very similar. So if you've seen one of those, you know what you're going to get here. So typical box front on all these kits. All the different angles of the kit. Side profile on this side. And like a schematic drawing on the other. Like I say, not a cheap kit. £150. Pretty new out, I think. So we've got photo etch. We've got our instructions. We've got several bags of resin, as we can see here. Now, I'm not going to go for every single bit, because we'll be here all day. I'm just going to pick out some important bits and have a look at them. We've got our body shell in here, and our decal sheet at the bottom there. So we're going to move some stuff out of the way, make a little bit of room, and let's see what we've got. So we'll start with the body shell. So I've already had a little look at this. It's absolutely stunning. It really is beautiful. But it's going to need some care and attention, that is for sure. So there's our body. There's our floor pan chassis inside as well. As you see, quite basic inside the tub. Nothing really to talk about much in there. Under tray, chassis looking good. Nice texture, raised surface detail, recess, got the exhaust at the bottom of the engine, gearbox, um, anti-roll bars, and so on and so forth there. Like I said, the interior is pretty plain, just the way it is, really. Uh, the body shell, absolutely beautifully cast. Flawless. I can't see a single flaw on the body at all. It's absolutely beautiful. I've got to pay a particular attention to these A-pillars because they look quite fragile. Uh but just beautifully cast. Really, really nice. Very nice quality. Beautiful looking car. This thing is going to look stunning. The colour I chose, I'll show at the end. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. So, first class resin cast in there. Um, it's just absolutely perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Like the Alpha Model reviewed a while back, the uh, McLaren. Just flawless, stunningly cast. So, you know, this is where your money goes into stuff like this. Parts that are really well done that a lesser manufacturer company might not be able to replicate. So, you can see where some of the cost is going. And yes, they're not cheap kits at all. I saw this yesterday, thought, oh my God, that is beautiful. And uh, just had to buy it. So, I did. Uh, treated myself and got a kit that I'm looking forward to building. And I'm having trouble holding off doing, if I'm honest. Now we've got a bag of tyres. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more, make sure we're focused. There we go. Tyres, obviously we've got four. Are they staggered? No, they're not. They're all the same. Really nice tread pattern on those. 
but they're quite cool. I don't know what the hell my autofocus is doing, but it's focusing on the bench rather than me. Which is a bit annoying. See, it doesn't like being zoomed in. Something about it, it just doesn't like being zoomed in. So the tread pattern's nice on those. Obviously, the front of it's good. Bit of a cleanup needed on the back, but nothing too difficult at all. Uh, that'll be just fine. So, four of those are exactly the same in there. We've got some photos, we've got decals, we've got our instructions as well. So we'll put all that there. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. We've got the iconic Singer gear selector just in there. Excuse my fingers, I've been painting this morning, probably my F15. So beautiful gear stick, very, very iconic. And that is packaged in its own little piece of bubble wrap to keep it safe. Clear parts are all here. The clear parts are really, really good. So all sorts in there, all the rear light lenses. I'm going to show you all the front ones because it's probably all the clearest parts. And that's actually pretty decent for resin. That's not too bad. They're all pretty good. So they shouldn't prove any difficulty whatsoever. We've got a whole bag of acetate windows, screws, seat belts. We'll look at those in a little bit as well. And then we've got parts. So we've got our boot lid with its duck bill, duck tail spoiler, whatever you want to call it. There as well, probably one of the most iconic parts of this car. Again, beautifully cast. Absolutely beautiful. Dashboard, again, really nice left hand drive car. Beautifully cast, beautifully molded. Well, cast it is, it's fully cast, isn't it? So we've got the rear under tray, which with the diffuser, this will probably be all carbon. I'll try and do this all carbon if I can. And again, just beautifully, beautifully cast. Absolutely stunning, really is. And then the rear seats in the back, if you want to call them that, of the interior. Again, just beautifully cast, really nicely done. You can see where your money goes when you see bits like this. Like I say, it's not a kit for everybody because not everybody's going to pay that amount of money. But sometimes, you know, you've got to treat yourself having you to something nice. Got the engine cover there, we've got our interior door cards. Nicely moulded there as well. And um, part of the ooh, right exhaust intake system. I think that's the intakes, isn't it? Very, very nicely done. I'm not going to pretend to know where all the parts are. We're not going to go through every single part because we'll be here all day. I'm just going to grab a few bits and have a look. The seats are absolutely wonderful. So you've got a front rear part section to the seat. Front Recaros. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. Hopefully that's in focus for you, you can see. Absolutely stunning resin seats. Really, really pretty. Very, very cool. Really nice. Obviously two of those front and rear sections on the back. We've got our rims as well, as well as our centers. And obviously there's another part to go in there as well which is these parts just here. So no problem there. Brake discs behind, wheel hubs are here, door handles, uh, and a few other bits and bobs in there. Again, all beautifully cast. Absolutely stunning. We've got um, the door card support, I think, brake calipers, headrests for the seats as well. Let me get some of these out. Have a little look. The calipers, lovely, really nice. As I drop it, and they drop it on the floor, and the head restraints, headrests for the seat as well. Again, really nicely done. Uh, cooling fan, a ticket to cooling fan. Obviously, this piece is cut off because that wouldn't be very good spinning around, would it? And then light clusters, really nice. Just, just top quality molding. Now these parts. It must be the, I don't know, the carbs. I don't know, I'll put the instructions a bit to see what they are. But just everything is flawlessly cast. Really high quality resin, which is going to make it a lot easier to build and hopefully a lot more of an enjoyable kit to do as well. Now in here, we've got the steering wheel, steering column. I'm not going to get these out because you can see them. Again, if you've done more calipers, we've got some handbrake parts, looks like an armrest, an auxiliary pulley. Got parts of the exhaust there as well. 
and on the rear, uh, we've got a few other parts, no idea what they are, intakes, what have you, beautiful, and then in this one, we've got the rear grill for the engine cover, splitter, more door parts, um, engine parts, not 100% sure what they are, but they are there, so that is all the resin parts, we then got um, our decals, instructions and photo etch, so if I go through these parts quickly, so in here we've got our seatbelt, seatbelt buckles are there, very cool, we've got several screws for assembly, we've got some Porsche logos and single logos in there too, which I'll try and get them out if I can. Wasn't too much drama. So yeah, we've got single logos and our mirrors, reflective parts of our mirrors are there as well. And then some really nice metallic Porsche decals, metal decals, and Singer decals in there in gold as well. So really nice little finishing touches that are really make this thing pop when it's together. We've also got some seat material, which we've got more of on the decal sheet you'll see in a bit. It's like the tartan pattern. We've got some decals for the body, which again, you'll see in a little bit in the instructions. And then we've got all the acetate for the windows. So these should be double-sided protected. I think they are. I forget now. But this is probably the most troublesome part of the kit, getting these in. Well, as long as you take your time, you shouldn't have any issues, really. It should be pretty straightforward getting them in. So, like I said, it's quite, you know, a packed kit. There's a lot in here. It's going to be not your typical model build. Kind of looking forward to doing one, kind of apprehensive. Kind of want to build this now, but kind of don't for the same reason. But, yeah, I don't know. You might see a build very soon. You might see a build tomorrow. We shall see. I don't know what's going to happen. PE, lots of PE in this, including this really nice... Uh, Porsche 911 Singer DLS plaque with the Porsche logo. Got loads of PE parts there, lots and lots of them, as well as our brake discs. We can get all this out, it'd be handy. Brake discs, we got all this here. I'm not sure what they're for, actually. Hmm, hope you can find them in the instructions, see what they are. Got some grills, the dreaded window wipers, pedals, grills. Very, very thin PE. I'm guessing they're detail parts for certain things. Not 100% more well for, to be honest. And then a whole load of PE, which will be for seat belts, engine parts, so on and so forth. And then a big PE set. It's a bit of a pig to get out. I'm not going to bother. So we've got our brake disc in there with our drill discs. We've got window surrounds. Uh, we've got badges there as well. So... Like I say, quite a well-equipped kit. There's a lot in here. Like I said, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of money. But you do get a lot of stuff in here. And it should keep you fairly entertained for a while. It's not going to be a weak build, is it? Well, unless you mean weak as in you're not very good. But, you know, that's me. We'll see. Um, quite a lot of stuff in there, though. Decals. Lovely decal sheet. Hobby design decals are wonderful. And this is an amazing sheet. So we've got all the tartan pattern for the seats there. Loads of different side decals, Porsche logos, all different colours there, which should cater for most colours that you pick to do. We've got these orange stripes, there's a nice blue one depicted in the instructions. And we've got all these 70 logos there, instrument panel for the dashboard. And just a whole choice of different decals. You've got Brembo uh, and Recaro decals at the top, Porsche logos there, tyre markings. So, you know, you've got a lot of choice here on what you want to do. I'm kind of pick my colour. I'm going for oak green, metallic, um, which is a colour of this. I'll put a picture of it. Remember, but don't put it here. I'll put it at the end. Because um, this is the picture I first saw that made me want the kit. So, wonderful decal sheet from Hobby Design. Top marks there for doing that one. And then our instruction. So, I've said this before. If you buy one of these kits, my first thing to be will go through and check you've got all the parts, which I have done. Everything's ticked off, as you can see, because it's very easy to lose these parts or them be broken. So make sure you've got them. Instructions are very rudimentary, very simple. 
Um, but to be fair, it shouldn't be too difficult. You just have to follow the process, take your time, work hard before you commit to gluing things in place. Test fit everything. Um, it's a bit vague in places, which hobby design always is, always is. Um, but it's a fairly simple kit. You know, there's not a huge amount of parts. Quite self-explanatory where a lot of it goes. There's quite a good few reference pictures out there, so you can have a look. Uh, and then obviously completing the model, getting the glass in. And then there's the first scheme, which is white with the yellow accent, yellow interior, which is very, very cool. Beautiful looking car. Then we've got the blue with the orange stripes on it, which is lovely as well. And the red with the 70 markings on. Like I say, we're going for oak green metallic. So that's the color we're going to do. Okay, there we are then. So, yeah, it's quite a daunting kit. They are quite daunting, these. I've never really built... Oh, yeah, I have built one twenty four present kit from Renaissance. It wasn't very good, though. It was a bit poor. So, yeah, these look a lot more... What's the word? A lot higher level kit. These look absolutely phenomenal. Um, what a beautiful looking car it is. The resin is the best. Same as the Alpha models. The resin is some of the best cast resin you'll get. There's no flaws in it whatsoever. Everything is perfect. Nothing looks warped. It all looks in really good shape, which is quite unusual with resin. Um, but there's no pit holes, no bubbles, nothing at all. It just looks like a high quality resin kit. So, is it worth the money? Honestly, yes, I think it is. It's a very unique kit. No, I don't think anybody else is going to release a plastic kit of this. Um, beautiful car. I'll put a video in the description down below, a video I watched today on it. These are $1.8 million, these cars. They're very, very expensive. And there's a wonderful video given a show through of just all the detail of it. And they look so nice. It's, it's beyond a joke how nice they are. Some of me and mortals like us, well, not all of us maybe, there might be a few millionaires watching secretly, will never be able to afford. But I can afford this, just. Um, and <laughs> we can build it that way instead. So that's it. Looks great. Is it worth the money? I think it is. There's a lot on that box. It's beautifully made, beautifully cast. It's just absolutely stunning. You need to look at it yourself uh, to see what it's like. The biggest question I've got is, I want to start a new car kit. Just do a start of this. I had a plan through the year to start with a trans kit, work my way up to a full resin kit. I kind of want to build this. I really, really do. But should I? I don't know. I've got my mind on another kit I want to build. I want to do the Wingfield Subaru uh, 99. I built a while back. I want to redo it, but the decals. I kind of want to do that. But this thing keeps calling me. It's a beautiful kit, and I'm kind of looking forward to doing it. So, watch this space. I've still got builds on the go. The Suzuki on the go, and the F15 Part 1. Just been uploaded to the Mac, so that should be uploaded in the next day or so. Uh, and we'll get back to the Suzuki very soon, probably after the first part of whatever car I decide to build. So that is the plan. So there we are. If you've got these kits or you've seen this, what are your thoughts on them? If you've built them, again, what are your thoughts on them? Let me know. Always interested in all the people's opinions and views. Yes, they're expensive. Completely understand. But some car kits can be £70 now. Some are £80 plastic kits. So, yeah, with the, you know, the rise in prices, is it that expensive for what you get? I don't know. You've got to look at it from different angles, haven't you? For some, it would be expensive. I've been criticised before for £150 for a kit. No one can afford that, but obviously people can because they do sell and I see them build quite regularly. So there we are. So as always, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a Patreon me, a PayPal me, and a Buy Me a Coffee link in the description down below. All the links are there as well to everything else to do with the channel. So there's International Scale Model Facebook page and forum, umpretail.com. We've got my Paul ISM Scale Models uh, modeling page on Facebook. There's a link to the Paul Daily Livestream page and Paul ISM uh off the hangout group as well and the group build page as well where our group builds are posted as well so make sure you sub to the channel give a thumbs up and uh, click that bell notification to get notified of all the latest videos and of course leave a comment like i say if you've built these if you've got one if you're wanting one let me know your comments and your thoughts down below i know some of you going to be like it's too dear but just look at it outside the box a little bit is it too dear for the amount of stuff you get for the quality it is a lot of stuff in there um let me know your thoughts while we're on about questions what's the most expensive kit you bought i think i've asked this before i think it is one i've built it's got to be my 12 scale r32 skyline from fujimi um with all the resin aftermarket bits i put in it and the one i've got in the stash is my mclaren mp46 tamiya 12 scale 
which is upstairs with a lot of the top studio detail up stuff as well. So let me know yours in the comments down below. Thanks for watching today. I will catch you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.